In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up an online course with Squarespace. Whether you're an educator looking to share your knowledge, a business wanting to train employees, or an entrepreneur aiming to create a new revenue stream, Squarespace offers a robust platform to help you build and manage your online course. Let's dive in. If you don't already have a Squarespace account, go ahead and click the link below in the description to sign up for a new account. We also have a discount code that you can save 10% using the code MYFIRSTWEBSITE in all caps. Squarespace also offers a free trial so you can start building your course without any upfront cost. So go ahead and click get started. You can answer these questions. We have a whole other video on how to get signed up with Squarespace, so I'm going to skip all of this. So before we start building your course on Squarespace, it's essential to plan out your content. You'll want to break down your course into modules and lessons. Each module or chapter should cover a broad topic, while each lesson should focus on a specific aspect of that topic. You'll Want to create an outline that details each module and lesson to keep your course organized. This planning phase is critical as it sets the foundation for your entire course and ensures that your content flows logically. So now let's navigate to the courses section. So in the navigation site on the left, you'll want to go to content and memberships. You'll want to create course and you can click start with the course. So let's just call it health and fitness course. We'll go ahead and click continue and here you'll have a few options for templates. So we'll go ahead and click this first one. So in Squarespace, Space, you'll create a new page for each module and lesson. Let's start by looking at the main course page that will serve as the central hub for your course, which as you can see, this is the course overview right here. This page will introduce your course and provide links to each module. It serves as a starting point for your students. Customers can also see their progress, which is great. Next up over here, once we click course content, chapter pages, these pages will introduce each module and provide links to individual lessons. Use these pages to outline the objective and key takeaways for each module. Within each module or chapter, there are lessons. Lessons are within these chapters. These pages will contain the actual course content, including videos, text, images, and downloadable resources. Make sure to structure each lesson clearly, starting with an introduction, followed by the main content, and ending with a summary or call to action. Organizing your pages with Squarespace is super easy. What you wanna do is use the navigation on the left to organize all of your course pages. You definitely want to create a a clear intuitive menu that allows students to easily navigate between modules and lessons. Here you can see you can easily move them as well. Let's just say you're not exactly sure what order each lesson is going to be in. You can always drag and drop them super easily. Next, let's talk about adding course content. Video content is a crucial component of many online courses. Squarespace allows you to upload videos directly or embed them from platforms like YouTube and Vimeo. So to upload a video, all you'll do is you can go into a lesson, and here you can see there's already one, but we wanna make sure we edit. And then you can click edit video and you can replace. Here you can see you can upload from a file, select from library, or you can add a link from YouTube or Vimeo. The only downside to adding from a link is it will have the YouTube logo in the video as well. You'll want to press save to make sure everything is saved and good to go. You really wanna make sure that your videos are high quality and professionally produced. Good lighting, clear audio, and engaging content will enhance the learning experience and keep your students engaged. Next, let's talk about adding text and images. In addition to videos, you'll likely want to include text and images in your lessons. We'll go ahead and click edit again. Let's just say we want to rename this. We can easily rename this to module one or lesson one and name it whatever you want. Okay. And if you want to add any descriptors, make sure you say what the course is about. This should enhance your lessons. Text and images should complement your video content and provide additional information or visual aids. If you want to update any of these, all you would do is click on a photo, click the edit, and you can even attach a link. You can replace by uploading a file or uploading from mobile or even stock images that Squarespace has available. If you want to add a new block, you edit it the same way as you would Squarespace in general. So what you would do, just say we want to add a section, you can add from a template, or if you just want to add a block within a section, you have all of the same options. So you can add a form, newsletter sign up, another button, video, image, etc. Go ahead and click save always. Another great tool is adding downloadable resources. These provide additional value to your students by offering downloadable resources such as PDFs, worksheets, and slides. Here's how you can add a downloadable file. So here you can see it's already here, but if this wasn't here, all you would need to do is add block, add a button, and then you can customize it to be exactly like this, or you'll edit, click download PDF, and you would attach a link. Ensure these resources are well organized and clearly labeled. Next, let's talk about setting up payments and pricing. Squarespace integrates with several payment processors, including Stripe and PayPal. 
PayPal. So what you want to do is click back to the main section of the course and then you'll want to go to pricing plans. From here you can add different tiers. So if you go ahead and click edit, maybe this gold tier you want to change to tier one. You can add a description here and you can also add benefits as you can see. So you can edit these, X them out if you want to. And then what you can do for pricing is you can change it to a fixed amount of one payment of $1,000. What you can also do is add options. So one payment of 1,000 or two payments of 600 for two months. Or what you can do is change it to a subscription where you can add a price and it repeats every single month or however you want. But the difference between a fixed amount and a subscription is a subscription will continue every single month until the customer wants to end the subscription. With the fixed amount, the customer will pay until they paid the full fixed amount. You can also have it be free as well. Make sure to offer multiple payment options to accommodate different preferences. Pricing should reflect the value of your course while remaining competitive in your market. Consider offering different pricing tiers with additional benefits to cater to various budget needs. You also can set up sign up limits. What you can do is go ahead and turn this on and so people can only enroll in this course for a certain time period. This will motivate and get people to sign up at a quicker rate. Once your course is live, you can manage payments and view transaction details through the commerce menu. It includes viewing payment history, issuing refunds, and managing subscriptions. Keep track of your financial transactions to ensure accurate accounting and identify trends in your revenue. Let's talk about engaging your students. Building a community is so important. Building a community around your course can enhance the learning experience and increase student retention. Create a private forum or Facebook group where students can ask questions, share insights, and support each other. Maintain regular communication with your students through email updates, newsletters, and announcements. Keep them informed about new content, upcoming events, and course-related news. Also, providing excellent support to your students by being responsive to their questions and feedback can really help boost engagement. Consider setting up a dedicated email address or support ticket system to manage student inquiries, gathering feedback from your students to understand what they like about the course and where improvements can be made. Use surveys, polls, and direct communication to collect this feedback and make necessary adjustments to your course content and structure. Next, let's talk about promoting your online course. First, you want to create a marketing plan. A successful online course requires a solid marketing plan. Start by identifying your target audience and developing a strategy to reach them. Consider using social media, email marketing, content marketing, and paid advertising to promote your course. Email marketing is a powerful tool for promoting your online course. Build an email list by offering a free resource such as an ebook or a mini course in exchange for email addresses. Use Squarespace's built-in email marketing tools or integrate with services like MailChimp or Convert. Kit. Leverage social media platforms to reach your target audience. Create engaging content to relate your course topics and share it on platforms like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Use Squarespace's social media integration to add your social sharing button to your site. Create valuable content that attracts your target audience and showcase your expertise. This could include blog posts, videos, podcasts, or webinars. Publish this content on your Squarespace site and share it across your marketing channels. Consider using paid advertising to reach a larger audience. Platforms like Google Ads, Facebook Ads, and Instagram ads allow you to target specific demographics and interests. Set a budget for your ads and monitor their performance to ensure a good return on investment. Partnering with influencers, bloggers, and other educators in your niche can help you reach a wider audience. Collaborate on content, host joint webinars, or offer affiliate commissions to partners who promote your course. Lastly, let's talk about analyzing performance and making improvements. First off, you want to make sure you're tracking your performance. Squarespace offers built-in analytics tools that allow you to track the performance of your course. Monitor metrics such as page views, time spent on pages, and conversion rates to understand how students are engaging with your content. For even more advanced analytics, consider integrating third-party tools like Google Analytics. These tools provide deeper insights into student behavior and help you identify areas for improvement. Adjusting your course content. Based on the analytics data and student feedback, make adjustments to your course content. This can include adding new lessons, updating existing content, content or improving the structure of your course. You also can experiment with A-B testing in different versions of your course pages to see what works best. A-B testing involves creating two versions of a page and comparing their performance to determine which one is more effective. In conclusion, setting up an online course with Squarespace is a comprehensive process that involves careful planning, content creation, and effective marketing. By following the steps outlined in this tutorial, you can create a professional, engaging, and profitable online course. Remember that the key to success is continuous improvement and a focus on providing value to your students. That's all you need to know to get up to set up an online course with Squarespace. Again, the link is down below.
below to get started with Squarespace for free. And just make sure to use our code MYFIRSTWEBSITE in all caps if you do intend on getting a plan. We also have a free website set up linked at our website down below if you guys need help getting set up with your first website. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.